Freddy and Jimmy and the Snow Cat by N. A. Oswald. This is Ivy Cottage, and this is Freddy and Jimmy. Early one winter morning, Freddy and Jimmy woke up with a yawn. Jimmy opened one eye, and then the other, and Freddy stretched. Their owners were nowhere to be seen. But Jimmy had noticed that something was wrong. Freddy, Freddy! He cried. Something terrible has happened. The world has disappeared. Freddy just laughed. You silly kitten! He said. The world has not disappeared. It's just covered with snow. In an instant, Freddy hatched a plan, a very exciting plan, a plan like no other plan he had ever hatched before. I'm not sure I like the sound of this. Mumbled Jimmy as he followed Freddy out of the cat flap. At first, Jimmy did not like the cold feeling on his paws or the icy feeling on his whiskers. I want to go home and curl up by the fire, he mewed. But Freddy was already over by the pond, calling Jimmy to come and have a look. So Jimmy walked across the crunchy snow, around the rockery, down where the path usually was, over the herb garden, and towards the pond. When he got there, he found something strange, something very strange, something very strange indeed. Freddy was standing on the pond, not in it, on it. Freddy was sliding around on the ice where the pond had frozen. Whee! He cried as he spun around. Are you sure that is a good idea? Jimmy asked. Suddenly, there was a loud crack as the ice broke. Freddy scrambled to the side of the pond, slipping and sliding towards Jimmy. Luckily, he escaped just as the ice sunk to the bottom of the pond. "I told you that was a bad idea," said Jimmy. But Freddy was already off on another adventure. "Come on!" he yelled excitedly. "I'm not sure about this," said Jimmy again. By the time Jimmy caught up with Freddy, he had already made a big ball of snow. "Watch this!" Freddy cried. And sent the ball rolling and tumbling down the hill. When the snowball thudded into the fence at the bottom of the hill, it was very big. Again, again! Yelled Freddy as he sent down another ball of crisp white snow. Freddy and Jimmy chased the snowballs down to where they had crashed into the fence. The second one was not as big as the first, and it gave Freddy an idea. Let's make a snow cat. Together they heaved the smaller snowball onto the bigger one. Then they made some ears, some legs, a long tail, and found some sticks that looked just like whiskers. Soon they had made a handsome snow cat. As they finished the snow cat, Jimmy noticed it was getting dark. Heavy flakes of snow were falling from the sky. Jimmy's paws were cold. His tail was wet, and icicles were starting to hang from his whiskers. "I want to go home," he cried. So they set off for home. They went past the frozen pond. Over the herb garden, down where the path usually was, around the rockery, until they were safely back home. I am worn out," yawned Jimmy as they climbed through the cat flap at Ivy Cottage. "So am I," said Freddy. So they curled up in their favourite place by the fire and drifted off to sleep, just as their owners came home. "Oh, what a lazy pair!" they said. "I bet you've done nothing all day." Thank you for watching Freddy and Jimmy and the Snow Cat. If you'd like to see more about Freddy and Jimmy, please go to www.freddyandjimmy.com for more of their adventures.